All right, what's up you guys? Um, going to show you how I built this. This is a 0.7 ohm coil, so it is sub ohming. As you can see, it is how I've been kicking out that vapor so much. It is insane how much vapor comes off of this, and it's just a single coil. All right, but what you guys are going to need to make this is there's plenty of different coils you can make. I'm going to show you guys the specific one. I'll show you guys many, many more from dragon coils to tricro coils to many different ones. Um, but for this specific one is the review I'm going to do right now. And what I did, I already went ahead and twisted it. But right here, probably not going to be able to see it. Maybe if I put it on the mod, you'll be able to see it. Okay, the camera isn't focusing. Anyways, this wire right here is three 30 gauge wires. And they were all twist. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I am wrong. It is 32 gauge. Three 32 gauge wires. And I took them, put them in a drill bit on the front of a drill, held the other end and twisted them so they were all tight together into one strand. And this is a triple 32 gauge twisted coil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this. Let me see. Sorry about that. This is a 1 16th drill bit. So I'm going to take the triple wrap wire I have and I'm going to wrap it six times as tight as I can being sure to keep the coils as close as possible Make sure you squeeze them together. Sorry, my hands are dirty. I painted today. You push those together. What you'll get is you'll get that coil right there. Six wraps. And it is, like I said, triple twisted. That's all you gotta do. Um, I guess I can go ahead and take this one off of mine now. Go ahead and take this coil off I have now. Make sure I lock my ring so I don't fire on myself. I'm gonna remove these posts. And take my drill bit. I'm just going to lift the cotton up. And I'm going to remove the coil that I am currently using. So now I have my empty post. And I'll take the wire that I had before. My wife's probably going to kill me for using her scissors, but I'm sorry, baby, I didn't have anything else. And I'm going to cut these so that I have this coil. Did you guys see there? Like I said, it's six wraps around a 1 16th drill bit. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to place it, actually it's a good idea to keep your drill bit inside of your coil, that way it doesn't get out of place and you can move it where you want it. I don't have the holes in my posts, so I have to 
wrap my coils so that can be a pain sorry about that got text message you guys got that one on there now I'm going to wrap the other one and I like to wrap as you see I'm wrapping around to the right that way when you tighten the post you're tightening the coil and you're not unwrapping it position your coil where you want it you see I want it right there so it's not touching the post it's out there right in between them as you can see if you look through them that way you can see the coil is right there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten that one down so now I got both my posts tightened down got the tails up in the air and I'm going to just position this and move this until I get it where it's flat. And then I'm going to clip the little tails off as so. Alright, now this, as you see, the coil is a little bit close to this post so I'm going to grab it and I'm going to just pull it out some because you don't want to hit that post, you will short it out alright so I got that done now before I fire it what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my RDA and I'm going to place it on my VTR. If you have an uh, ohm reader, you don't need the VTR, of course, but we're going to try to check the resistance of this coil now on the VTR. So I'm going to take my battery out and put it in my VTR. Since the VTR has an ohm reader on it, three clicks as always one, two, three to turn it on. And we're going to hit it. And right now, just like the one I'm running now, 0.7 ohms. We're going to put it up to 15 watts. And we're going to give it a little fire. As you see, she's burning bright. Oh, yeah, burning bright. Alright, so once you got it burning good and bright, you're going to take that coil with your tweezers and lightly pinch them together and just hold it for a second. What you're trying to do here is you're trying to get these coils as tight together as you can. So when you fire it, you want to see it glow from the center out. And as you see, it's looking good. Give it one more little squeeze. Make sure to get the two ends that they don't overlap over any of them. And there you guys go. I have perfectly burning coil, you see, from the center out. All right, so we got that taken care of. And we're gonna check the resistance after squeezing it and it put us at 0.8 so we're still doing really good on it drop my battery out of there put this on there so I don't burn myself and remove this put the VTR off to the side put my nemesis back together and put it back on here Gonna give it a test fire on here, make sure we're up and running on here too. And yes. Firing like a champ. Now 
you're going to take your organic cotton just going to get a little piece of cotton your wick size I would say go by preference what you like if you like to drip a lot or if you like to just drip a bunch at once so you keep vaping and not have to keep dripping it every few seconds so I tend to I like to load mine up with a good little bit of cotton so I'm going to put this cotton in here sorry that was my wife now she's gonna be mad at me because I didn't answer but I have to finish your guys' video for you so we're gonna place this cotton through the inside of this coil being careful twisting it as you see to make it smaller so that you can pull it through you don't want to bend your coil or put it out of place Oop. so I got it where I want it alright you see that now you got your cotton going through your wick now what I want to do is I'm going to cut the end of this off and I'm going to cut the end of this off. I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer than this one because like I said I want a bigger juice holder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck the shorter end right there and I'm just going to stuff it underneath the wick and I'm going to push this one over here more to that side by that post as you can see oh, my camera will focus Okay, it's down there, stuffed mainly on that side. Now this other part, I'm going to stuff it also. And i got a bunch of extra. I'm going to stuff it right there in the front underneath. So that I have a big old hunk of cotton right there. Because I love my juice. So now I'm all cottoned up. Now I'm going to take some of my sour diesel ganja juice and I'm going to saturate this cotton up make sure you get your cotton good and coated make sure it's all moist don't be scared of it and then tuck it and fix it where you want it the juice kind of makes it like a glue where you're able to move that cotton around and place it exactly where you want it Make sure to cover all the sides of that coil. Make sure that coil is good and covered up. Like keep the top open, of course. But as you see, the sides and the bottom. It's a big cotton well and it's full of juice. Put a couple extra drops on there. All right, I'm gonna get up the first test fire. Oh yeah, that's firing really good. Alright you guys, I am going to throw this on there and show you guys how it is hidden. Alright you guys, so here it is, the cool bill we just went through together, Woo! firing like a champ, it's a .8 ohm coil and we're going to look at it, here we go. Oh yeah, you guys, you can see, look, I mean, just check out this vapor. I mean, it's chucking it right out. Oh yeah. Love that ganja juice. Sour diesel, I'm starting to really enjoy that. Alright, you guys. Well, that was my coil build. That's a triple wrap. 32, <coughs> triple twist 32 gauge Canthal 0.8 ohm coil we just built. Six wraps around a 1 16th bit drill. Uh, 1 16th drill bit with
twisted canthal. <coughs> As you see, this thing is a beast. So I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be bringing you more coil builds. This is my first one. Um, next one I'll probably do, I'll probably show you guys how to make the dragon coil or maybe the tricoil coil. I really like the tricoil coil. It's pretty cool. I might just go ahead and do that one. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hit that like button and leave those comments, people. All right, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was informative and I hope you guys can build your own coils. Send me some photos of your coils when you get them built. Thanks.